All right, YouTube, we are getting this stream underway again. This is a new day. I stopped it last time. There's some new stuff potentially for you, but not much because we got uh, some more migrants, which are still on the edge of the map. I just pulled up therapist and chain and just made sure there wasn't anything that needed to be changed and changed what did. And uh, the revolt, this is all on the screen, yeah. So we got the revolt got dwarfed as well as the last person to come to our fort so far. We're at 94 dwarves, which means uh, I believe the cap I set was 100. So here's our noobness. Yeah, so we'll get we can get up to 150 people in here, um, not counting baby or in including babies and everything. Uh, so there you go. Now we're getting some query bushes going. We're actually infertilizing them, so hopefully we can get quite a bit out of them. Uh, one of the main reasons for that is quarry bushes are quite interesting. When when you pick them, you can get stack you get stacks of five uh, leaves, and those leaves can be used in making meals. So if we go to the kitchen, we probably have some in here already. Yeah, uh, only five, but it helps make the meal stacks a lot bigger as well. It can really kind of it's just it's really good for your for your um, economy especially when you're doing food economy like I am because uh, that's what I like to do now seed wise we are cooking almonds and gingo seeds that's okay I uh, are cooking our dormant wine that is fine as well and I believe I got all the tallow unmarked for cooking so uh, the other thing we can do with our rock nuts is we can um, let's see, we want to mill seeds and nuts to a paste. Is it going to let me specify which ones? No. I really just want to do it with the rock nuts. I think it only will do it with the rock nuts. If I remember correctly, that's the only thing that does anyways. But we'll just hit repeat. That'll be fun. All right. And, ah, this Revolt says boats are actually coming at some point. That would be excellent. So we need to set up our well as well. Ha, huh, get it. And I believe I set this up appropriately. So we have our corridor going down near the water. We have a little elevation change, but that should have the positive pressure to get it to here. Uh, not that we really need it. A, a bucket from a well will go down as far as it wants until it hits something. And I do actually have a floodgate set up in there. And I was thinking last night about moving the water somewhere else as well. Oh yeah, we got a grate that's being installed. So let's get this, this unpaused for a second. There we go. So I don't know exactly what I want to do with it yet. Oh crap. Why did you suspend this? What came up and scared you? Was it a lava snake thing? Item blocking site. That's annoying. So you're not gonna be able to do it at all then, are you? We'll give them one more chance. They'll probably just uh, tell me they suspended it again. I'll forget or not see it. Hmm. I just like having options sometimes. So let's come down here and just dig out, dig out something there. And then we'll put another floodgate in there. And that way, if I wanna tap into this later, I can, without having to worry about uh, water pressure and stuff. So a PAX is happening, Philosopher Never Dies says. So I hear. Ah, oh, yak, the best word in the English language. <laughs> I'm kind of partial to seep. All right, let's drink a little tea right now. So if I go quiet, that would be it. I want my floodgate. I want it now. Ooh, wow, those are nice floodgates. 
Okay, we're also gonna have to set up another uh, switch for that floodgate. And I haven't been labeling any of my switches, so this might get interesting quite quickly. But let's uh, build a lever. I don't even know where to put this one. Let's put it here and make it look pretty. Door Fortress is better than PAX? I agree. Hey, Jarlarko, how you doing? Now, something interesting we do have, if you did miss the last one, was, um, now let's do this from Kitchen, I guess. You may have seen that, you may not have seen that. Got 426 Forgotten Beast meat. On top of that, we should have some Eden meat, I hope. I think that got butchered, right? No? Well, this is the one menu that actually is in alphabetical order. Uh, it looks like our Eden did not. Oh, and don't even get me started on the Echinitas. Oh, so sad. So sad. Okay, these are just going to keep... Oh, that one got built. That's interesting. Well, let's try that one one more time then. Oh, I got so many things going on. Okay, he's making his way down there. That's good. Run like the wind, dwarf. Zong Katten, our carpenter. All right. So now that we got our switch. Oh, no, the switch isn't there yet. Never mind. Yeah, I never really follow packs all that closely. I actually stopped reading a lot of uh, gaming online things because they're all so horrible. Rock, Paper, Shotgun is pretty much the only one I still read occasionally. And even then, I tend to only read something from like a couple of their writers. Unfortunately, I usually read it on my mobile. And I can't tell until I click through to an article who wrote it. So we want to link up a floodgate, which would be F. Not that one. That one. Yes, sir. Please and thank you. Well, fine. You can have that and that. I actually don't want to pull that one when they're done doing it. Oh, here we go. We're going to get fun again. And we have a very, very small military. A giant knoll has come. A giant creature resembling a human, almost unparalleled in size. Almost. You think I know what buttons hit by now? Giant. Ah, but you're not carrying anything, or it's not letting me see it if you are. You are not currently wounded. Okay. His straight hair is extremely long. He has a thin frame with some fat on it. His broad ears are very flattened. He has a square chin and his Okra eyes have large irises. He has a high-pitched voice. His hair is quite sparse. His eyebrows are quite dense. His lips are slightly thick. His nose is somewhat short. His hair is buff. His skin is brown. As soon as it said has a high voice, I started imagining, um, what was it, Judge Doom from, was it Doom? I think it was. Judge from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right, well, Let's assemble. This is a Phobus or Phoebus or whatever you call that. It's that one. I just, I think that was the default when I first started using the Lazy New Pack and I just never changed it or it was one of the only ones available or something like that. Uh, so I'm just used to it. I don't know if there's better or not. Um, yeah, Kotaku, I used to read a lot of Kotaku and boy, did that go downhill <laughs> fast. <laughs> Nerdus, I don't think I've tried that. You want a sharp stick and booze and turn you loose. Okay. This is the revolt. I can definitely uh, I can definitely put you in. <laughs> You'll grab whatever you think is available. Look, we have a spot and everything. So let's uh, let's throw in um, hopefully you're at the end. There we go. Yeah. And just for fun, let's let's see how this might go. Yep, no skills. You can swim. That's a plus. And you're not very... You have some disease resistance, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, I'm assuming you got auto equipped with what everybody else does as well. Yeah. Yes, whatever you want to pick up, which probably the clothes on your back and the first stick you can find. Yeah, Drobe King, you were you were very uh, impressive. I thought it was going to be a bloodbath. Jalarko, yeah, you're alive. You want to be in the military too? Are you in the military? Um, Jalarko, yeah, because you're a hunter. You're the one who's leading the military. I forgot about that. Kills. You got two wild boars. That's kind of cool. The Rogue King with your kills. What? You killed the, uh, killed the Forgotten Beast. Unless someone, did someone steal your kill? You were firing at it. Okay. Cadden killed the Etten. It's not saying who killed the Forgotten Beast. It looked like somehow no one actually saw it die. Noah Cherry? Um, you gotta be near the top, right? There it is. Yep. No kills. All right. Anyone else want to be in the military? Yeah, this should be good. Oh, the giant acne uh, giant from the future. Futurama. I love Futurama. Everything except for uh, the new seasons. There's a couple good episodes, but there's a lot that weren't even worth watching, in my opinion. Okay, so let's get our squad going. I can always add people later if we need to. Put our squad out here. Now, I believe he's just he's just a giant. I believe these traps will catch him if he happens to get past. So we'll move that there. Oh, what the heck? We'll tell our citizens, our citizens, our citizens to get it indoors. Um, yeah. I'm tempted to throw this first, but all right, let's do this thing. By new seasons, I mean, um, <laughs> and immediately taken by a Fey mood. Good timing. I'm sure everything you want is outside too. Uh, by new seasons, I just mean the uh, ones after the uh, the movies, because you know it was gone for so long, and then they did the uh, direct DVD movies, and then they uh, brought it back. Uh, I forget on what network. And the new stuff was. It just didn't really do it for me. There's a couple good episodes, but it was the... Uh, I like the way the, the series ended originally, actually. But anyways. Now that I know other people watch Futurama in here, I'll probably end up doing a lot of Futurama quotes. Let's watch this unfold. I'm sure there's other things I need to be paying attention to, but... Too bad. I actually probably do need to keep an eye on this guy. Oh, wrong one. Z. Now, if you start fighting Echinitas, you know I'm gonna have problems. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's pretty quick. Uh, here, eat my animals. Maybe that'll uh, help. I don't think we're even gonna get a chance to close this. I think our our military just needs to take him out while he's eating a goat. All right, guys, kill. Kill or be killed. Buy some time for our citizens. Actually, yeah, we got a whole line of them trying to run inside real quick. Yeah, he uh, took out those goats pretty quick. And he's dead. I knew it. <laughs> All right, let's see how it went. Oh, I didn't look to see who actually got the kill. Uh, so, the goat is dead. <laughs> With one stomp. Uh, the yak is being torn up. The axe dwarf... I, uh, I can barely read this. So the axe dwarf got a hack in the foot. And then the giant fell over. That helped a lot, I am sure. Uh, steel... I'm glad we bought those steel weapons. That's the only reason why Darrow King, has never having picked up a crossbow before, was able to kill the Forgotten Beast. Because he shot it with an improved steel bolt. 
So basically, it looks like our axe dwarf uh, just hacked the giant up while it was on the ground. Giant says, I've been injured badly. This leaves me so shaken. That was a horrible voice. What am I even trying to do here? Hey, look, Yakal was found dead. Man, this axe dwarf is quite agile. Of course, the giant's on the ground without a foot. All right, so you're hacking them in the right lower arm as well as in the right hand, which is great. Um, yeah, and then just hacks him in the head just over and over and over and over again while he's unconscious on the ground. All right. And then artery was open. So uh, anyone else get any fighting in? Jarlarko, I have a part in this. I will take revenge. On what? I'm not sure. And yeah, you actually got a few uh, iron bolts in there. Excellent. Death is all around us. I am not upset by this. Those injuries, this does not scare me. You're not scared, Jalarko. Uh, which would be... Daroking? <laughs> That's how bad... No. Oh, my memory is so bad. Floss Lord. There you go. Daroking, how did you do? I've improved my crossbow. That was not satisfying. Oh, that was actually the Forgotten Beast. So, um, yeah. How did that get there? All you got was, uh, you shot him at him once and he rolled away. Okay, not bad. We got some stuff to eat. This will be good. Okay, military. I mean, it might have been nice to have a giant in a cage as well, but cages are overpowered. This world gen actually, despite the fact I removed uh, werewolves and uh, boogeymen and vampires, I did bump up the savagery of the entire world quite a bit. I told it to make more stuff like these giants and other things that have been attacking us. So despite just being on a little um, island, we should still have some fun. Jarlarko is metal. <laughs> yeah, who was that? Um, oh, yeah, we should probably deal with our squad here. I think that was a mercenary, right? The Axe Dwarf? Yeah. Now, if someone would like to be be the Axe Dwarf, that'll be the end of that, probably. Okay, so they did their kill thing, so they actually should be relieved, since it is dead. I like that. What did you leave behind up here? Huh, I don't know why that's flashing. And there's clothes on the ground? Are you guys just shedding clothes? Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. You can wear those. Steel buckler? You're just throwing your the stuff you grab to fight with on the ground. Awesome. Way to go. Okay. Do we have any stuff? Yeah, we're making rock pots and tables. Okay. I wonder if we need more, or if we even have any. I can't remember if I made them or not. Uh, we need a rock, not jugs, but the other thing. Actually, it is jugs. That's pots. I want rock jug. Make 10 of those. I don't know if we have enough to be actually um, doing the whole honey thing. I haven't even been trying it, but I don't remember seeing a play, a, a chance to... Um, now we can get plant slurry into paper sheet. Is it at the... Not that, the Fisher workshop? Farmer workshop? I actually don't know where you press, where you, how you do the honey thing. Or we already did it. Oh, White Sox got a triple play. That's cool. Baseball is my sport. I just can't really watch anymore because I don't have cable. Okay. So much going on. You get all hooked up? You did. I'm not even going to test you. I believe it. So we need to do a little channeling then. We need to channel that out right there. And get started with our, getting our hospital set up. So the other thing we need to do is remove some things. So I need to remove, oh, that's not a construction, that's right. I just need to dig down. So it 
smooth. There we go. So if I did this right, it should just be 7-7 seven, seven there. I hope. Oh, I was gonna... No, that doesn't matter. They can take it off of the slope, too. I think we need to build wells, though, don't we? You gotta make them before you set, place them. Uh, well. No? Build well? Nope. It just asks for the stuff it needs, I guess, when you build it. Good. Even the worst Futurana episode is better than 95% of TV. 95% of new and current TV, I agree with you. I watch a lot of old TV, because that's most of the stuff I can get on my antenna. <laughs> Plus, that's the stuff I grew up with and love anyways. Okay, we're not making meals, right? We need to start making some more meals, but I definitely want some giant soap. Show me that giant soap. Oh, he's going to be a sentient being. They're not going to do anything with him. Bummer. That I got to mod out. Dang. NFL. I, actually, I don't mind watching football. I just don't care to follow football. So, actually watch football quite a bit with my dad on uh, Sundays. I go over there and visit, and he's got all of them recorded, and yeah. Fun stuff. And our water water's trickling in. We that should work out just fine for us. Alright, let's check out some of these bedrooms again. We're starting to get tables and stuff. Where do I need tables? Well, we definitely need them down here. We got a hundred dwarves and ten places for them to eat. <laughs> Let's get some of these set up. This is ridiculous. All right, space, space, chair, table, table, chair, space, space. Mm. Yeah. Chair, table, table, chair, space. Yeah, I guess so. Anything amazing? Nope. We're just going to put down any table we can. Next, we're going to make an amusement park with blackjack and hookers. All right. Ah, oh, we don't have any chairs. Oh. A rock, a throne. And let's get... Uh, 30 of those is fine. I mean, if we had two guys that were decent masons, it would make sense to have two masonry set up. But I didn't let anyone else improve their skill, which is the problem. So, there's one guy. Yeah, I mean, he's not horrible, but... What's my favorite team for baseball? Uh, that's a good question. Like I said, I haven't really been able to follow baseball anymore because, unfortunately, I'm in Arizona. It's the Diamondbacks, uh, which I quite enjoy. They're you know new team. I I was in college on their first year, so I go to the games. I sit class and get one dollar tickets that first year and go watch the team, and that was a lot of fun. Um, but then they stopped uh, broadcasting over on uh, local antenna TV and went to Fox Sports Net, and. Now I don't really care much anymore because I don't get to follow the team. I hardly know anyone who's even playing for them, except for Goldschmidt. A lot of heartbreak, but we did get a World Series too. So. This is Revolt asks, do I ever watch a Roomba? I actually have watched a Roomba. So yeah, I think it would be the Diamondbacks still. Um... That being said, any chance I got, I always any time they were favored to win, I always bet against them. If I was uh, if I was in uh, Nevada, either way, I'm happy. Uh, my grandmother loved the Braves, so I have a I have an affinity for the Braves as well. Uh, 
Okay, well, there we go. How are we doing water-wise? It's taking a while. It'll get there, I hope. Let's uh, let's at least get it. Needs chain? You let me do it earlier. You didn't say that earlier. It, we're having issues with the chains. It took me a long time just to get them to build the restraint as well. Oh, what do you... Why are chains randomly not available to me? Do I like hockey? I like going to hockey games. Hockey is fun in person. Of course, in that being said, I really only went to college hockey games. Um, and when it was the two uh, interstate rivals, and basically it was just fighting on ice. There was very little hockey going on. And there was a lot of um, skirmishing in the stands as well. It, it was a blast. The Blackjack and Hooker's comment got me wondering if you did. Oh, that's from Futurama. Episode 2, The Moon. We're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. But there ain't no whale, so we tall, tell tall tales and sing our whaling tune. Please don't send people to kill me, Viacom or whoever owns you. Okay. watch water trickle unfortunately we're taking water from the edge of the map so this is going to be a long thing this is where the stream's falling off instead of coming in i got tons of stuff i need to be doing but for some reason i always just get stuck watching things okay uh, who who wanted this room i can't remember so we got a room for untrusted life we got a room for derobe king uh, was this for Floss Lord or Jalarco or Noah Cherry? Well, you all need one, right? There we go. <sighs> we can't make mead right now, right? Oh, we can. So we did do everything we needed to do. Maybe it's more automated than I realized. This will be the first meat I've ever made in Door Fortress. We really have no reason why we shouldn't be constantly making drinks out of everything. Uh, what extract plant do we have? Probably not. It's probably just up there. But, eh. Let's see what we get. Oh, well, it's probably uh, uh, the, the syrup. Which I don't mind cooking with. Whatever that is. Uh, sweet pods. Dwarven syrup. Had me muted. Uh, working on it. So I don't know if you have a preference of where you'd like to be. I was going to give you that one. I always feel like closer is better. Uh, okay, so Noah Cherry, where are you at? There you are. You're, you're a performer. That's right. But you're a priest performer. So I don't need to put you down near the tavern or anything. You guys have two rooms right now as well. Uh, how are we doing on cabinets? If I can get you guys some good cabinets, that would be great. Oh, I can. I can, and I will. Okay. Um, and we need um, a container if we got it for you as well. It's not bags. Oh, there's a coffer. Uh, we have... Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know how good those are, though. Uh, it's good for now. We'll get you both. Or, yeah. That's a good one, H, and, ah, ah, sometimes it's tab, sometimes it's X, there we go, I swear it's not me, it's this game, <laughs> okay, yeah, I thought you were kidding, this is the revolt, um, oh, the moon is one of my favorite episodes, by far. I've seen that episode more than anything else. Because it's the one where I relate to Fry the best. It's just so blasé. Everyone else is like, oh, well, yeah, it's the moon. It's stupid. You know. And he's like, but it's the moon. I'm on the moon. I could jump around and drive a buggy and... Oh. Yeah. Childlike 
enthusiasm. I would have it as well. Okay, a room, a broom closet with some straw on the ground for my dwarf. You're trying to get your dwarf to go insane, aren't you? Where would I want to put a broom closet? Where do we need brooms? Probably where it's yucky like this would be my guess. You don't really do anything. I might turn you into a farmer, though. The countdown is great. Yeah. <laughs> Can I do the countdown? Go ahead. Ten. We're there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. A room. Just let me live in the remains of my enemies, which is currently two boar, but hey. kind of like that. I wonder how much uh, boar leather we have hanging around. Um, that would be tanned hides. We got some hoary marmot leather. I definitely saved that up. We got some more of it too. Boar, 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 boar. Boar, 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 boar. Gotta show Quinn this thing in my hand. Honey badger. Wild boar leather. One. Hmm. What can I do with that? Well, I can give you a leather bag in your room made out of boar. I could so... Hmm, let me know if you have any ideas. I'm gonna hold off on that for a second. All right, I, I love the chat. But I'm having trouble <laughs> remembering what it is I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build a darn well. Ah, curse you. That's it. I don't even remember how to make a rope. because I always buy them. Dang, I really don't remember how to make a rope. Clothier shop. We don't have one of those. Oh, this is such a disastrous looking area too. Worst workshop area ever that I've done. Uh, clothes, clothes, what are clothes? There it is. Oh. I know it wasn't gonna be C. Okay, you're gonna, we'll put our clothes stuff down here, I guess. Actually, Let's put it here. And granite block is fine. Build second bridge defense. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, build a bridge. And... No, people get caught out more likely probably that way. But it gives me more time to throw the switch. And sounds more fun. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm going to waste all my coke making a bridge. Sure, that's the ticket. Maybe make this one magma safe. We don't, we don't have blocks of Gabbro, so they're going to have to bring those up from probably 200 levels beneath us. Come on. There we go. Oh, I forgot all about the strange mood. You guys were hoping that I would have a rampaging dwarf in my fortress, weren't you? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I just randomly decided I want to make some rope and that was exactly the workshop that he needed. Okay, let's see how this goes. He's leaving immediately to get stuff, which is a good sign. What are you going to get? Okay, you got some cloth. That's good. This is Floss Lord, I believe. Some more cloth. I'm okay with that. Go get some jewels or something. 
I buy those from the caravans on purpose. Yeah, there you go. Some gems. Oh, this might be good. Maybe it'll be a rope. Oh, I lost you. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes, a very nice cut gem. Ooh, another one. <laughs> You're going to wipe out my gems. Oh, a miner just got stung by a honeybee. Oh. Let's see if we can find that and see how badly he likes that. Um, or dislikes that. Yes, he's not even hurt. So I don't know. It was a miner, so I guess we can look at our miners. Whoever's called a miner. Uh, wow, that one goes off my screen. There's another miner. Okay, he wasn't hurt. Other people may be called miners. He's probably still called a miner. Fork due to inebriation. Untrusted life? Nope. Yeah, I don't see anyone... Uh, he's horrified about something. What are you horrified about after witnessing death? Get used to it. Hmm. Okay. Can't find it. Yes, you are a miner. I guess I could have zoomed. Who's the closest person? Yeah, I don't see anyone being, uh, showing any sort of damage on something like that. Haha, -ha, it's gonna let me build, a w build the well now. I knew it. Oh, no, 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 not there. That'd be horrible. Um, no, it needs to be nice. Ooh, native gold. A gold well? In the hospital? Yeah. Why not? Finger lime wood bucket. My second favorite kind of lime. Yeah, see all these chains? I guess we might as well go with the best one to start with. Okay, I think the best one of these would be that one. Yeah. Cool, we're gonna get a well. Well, I didn't pay attention to YouTube at all, episode-wise. How are we doing? Yeah, I think we're probably way over time for episode. Oh! Good, he did it. Let's check, uh, this will be the last time we look at. So it's gonna be made out of sheep wool cloth, can we get more detail on these? No, only individually. A pack of wool cloth, a rough morganites, radiant cut pink garnets, baguette cut moss opals, rough morganites, rough emeralds, and birch logs. I can't wait to see what you make. And that will be it for the YouTube episode. I'm going to continue to stream, but I will see you all in, a, in the next episode. Bye-bye.